Hey Cagneses! I was trying to look festive, but I feel like I'm more so look like I'm straight out of the 80s. This year is flying by. It's really scary. <laughs> now as you guys may remember from my chicken sandwich cake, Already Baked sent me 10 of their 8 inch Already Baked cakes. They're already baked and ready to decorate. And that excites me because as you may or may not know, baby girl still works full time. So I don't have time to actually bake for my videos, so this was just perfect. I want you guys to check out their website also. I will leave all of the information for them down below. You know one thing I never see? One layer of cake that is decorated beautifully, unless it's an actual rectangular sheet cake. So I'm going to make a gorgeous Christmas tree design on a single layer of cake. This is just so simplistic and beautiful. I wanted to make it colorful and vibrant and fun and festive for Christmas. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and then press on the notification bell so that you're notified for all of the great videos that I have coming up. Let's get started. So when your already baked cakes are delivered to you, they're delivered in a huge box. There is a little note on the top telling you that there's dry ice within the box, so be careful. You'll see a big piece of foam for insulation. Mine actually was outside for the entire day, but my cakes were still partially frozen. Within that large box is another box, and those are your individually wrapped, ready to decorate cakes. I'm going to take my cake layer and unwrap it and I'm going to place it onto my plate of choice. I think this gray plate is just perfect for this design. So I'm going to start off by marking where I want my Christmas tree to go. And then I'm going to take some white buttercream in a piping bag and I have tip 1M. And I'm going to pipe random swirls and rosettes onto the cake. And then I swapped that out for my pastel pink buttercream using the same 1M tip. I went in with some swirls and then I went back with that white buttercream to finish it off. So now we need to really decorate the background and I want it to look festive and fun but also have a really beautiful pattern that looks like and feels like Christmas. So I have some pastel blue in a piping bag and I'm using a star tip and I decided to pipe swirls going from the top down towards the bottom of the cake and I wanted this to represent snow and chilly weather and winter. We need to do this more often. Just take a layer of cake and just put some buttercream on it and make it look pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with a very light green because I feel like what's Christmas time without green? And I'm just gonna pipe little dollops onto the cake in no specific pattern, but pretty much what I feel looks good. Now I feel like I need to add a little bit more color. So I have a pastel purple that I'm going to add and I'm using a petal leaf tip to pipe some ruffles onto the cake. Once again, I'm piping this in random places just where I feel like I need a little pop of color. This cake was totally unplanned. I kind of just went with the flow and I feel like you can't really go wrong as long as you swap out your tips and do different types of patterns and colors. I think this is gorgeous so far. So I'm gonna go back in with that pale green. And I'm gonna pipe a few more dollops onto my already piped green. I don't know what those are called. They're like green drops. And then I decided to, using the same round piping tip, go in with more white buttercream to lift the color scheme up just a little bit. I didn't want to overkill with the white because I love the main focus being on the Christmas tree. And it's so funny because I always felt like there's nothing tackier than a pink Christmas tree. But they're kind of in style and the Christmas trees that I've been seeing are gorgeous. This cake is definitely making the cut for one of the prettiest rosette Christmas trees ever. 
decided to stop right here because I honestly love the contrast of the golden brown color that the cake gives with the blue and the greens from the buttercream. It's a semi-naked cake and it's only one layer and yet it's still festive. We have to decorate our Christmas tree. I have a bunch of different sprinkles. I went in with white, gold, pink, and I put that all onto the tree. And then I did various sprinkles onto all of my other buttercream decorations. Now we of course need a star for the top of our tree, so I used two gold spaghetti sprinkles. And that is it. I think this cake is absolutely gorgeous and I love it because it's so simple and it's different. I've never seen a one layer round cake decorated like this before. You guys could definitely do this at home. Sit around and have a great time decorating your layers for Christmas. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Couture in a pink and white swirl Christmas tree. Bye guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this cake was absolutely gorgeous. The cake needs the comment of the day goes to Jessica Smith. Jessica commented on my, she called me a kidnapper, cake tells video. <laughs> you have to say it like that because it's just crazy. So Jessica comments, I am dying, but I get it. I'm a baker also, and I don't have any cake toes like that, but people be crazy. This is true, Jessica. Not only are they crazy, but they're calling, and they're trying to place cake orders, and they're trying to put you through the most, and they're trying to ruin your day. Have an energy blocker that says, psych, skirt, you're not getting in my bubble. Like once you hear that first little bit of nonsense, then you can go back because you know there's money involved so you know you could check back but then once it's checking out to be crazy oh bah, 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 bah. if you would like to be featured in the next video just be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below oh how does that happen I will have more festive holiday cakes coming up. I'm actually working on something super cute. So make sure that you're subscribed. Leave a comment down below and say hello. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Cake Nistas.